It's the first day of girls soccer practice in the state of Texas. Every school is moving on from one sport to another. That is, unless you happen to be one of eight teams still playing for the Texas High School State Football Championship. The Harlington Cardinals are one of those teams. The final eight in 5A Division I looks like this. In Region 1, we have South Lake Carroll versus Arlington Martin, both out of the DFW area. In Region 2, it's Skyline, also of the DFW area, taking on the Woodlands from the Houston market. In Region 3, we have two Greater Houston schools, Fort Bend Hightower versus Pearland. And in the Region 4 Finals, it's San Antonio Madison versus Harlingen. Big Red is taking the approach they have taken for all their games. Fundamentals are still important. Too high, we're too high, and I'm not seeing both of you. You're going to take a step with that foot, you're going to take a step with that foot. And their approach to this regional championship is like any other game. Despite it being the biggest contest the Valley has seen in more than a decade. Just the simple same routine. You know, we just add certain emphasis is here based on the size and the speed that we're going to face. But we keep doing the things that we've been doing for the last 13 weeks and uh, not going to change anything. Madison comes into their game against Harlingen with a 9-4 record. They upset Converse Judson in the bi-district round with a 25-24 win. They have junior running back Marquise Warford, who has rushed for over 1,900 yards and is being looked at by TCU. The Cardinals know Madison will be tough. But after winning last week, they are confident they can be tougher. Well, just like any other team, we just have to do what we have to do. Just keep doing what we've been doing all, all year and we should be good. The day turns tonight at Cardinals practice field. And so the temperature drops. It feels better now, you know, because before it was like 110 degrees, you know, and we even have this like 50 pounds of equipment on. Right now it feels refreshing, you know. Such is life when you are practicing for a game to be played in December. And when practice is over, Coach Gomez puts into perspective the meaning of Friday's game. The numbers don't lie for one. The right, numbers don't lie as far as how many wins, who's won the most games in the Valley. Okay, so you guys first started and you guys are a part of something great. Okay, this team's done something great. This is the first time that a team's ever gone to the third round 13-0. You only have one chance at high school football, man. And you seniors, I'm telling you, there's a lot of guys in the Valley that would love to be in your shoes, man. The Cardinals have had great success in 2011. And this team believes there is more to come. You're going to remember Friday for the rest of your life, especially if you lose. You will remember that game for the rest of your life. All right, but it's losing an option. This is not an option. 